Let's see how easy it is to group multiple conditional statements together to dynamically change a field's value. In our sample letter here, we're going to change the title and the salutation of the letter depending on a couple of variables. So let's set up those variables. So the first thing that's going to determine the appropriate title would be the client's gender. This is going to be a single select field, female and male and go ahead and save. And the second thing that determines the appropriate title is going to be the client's marital status. Again, keep it super simple. So just single and married. And neither one of these fields need to be inserted into the document. They simply exist to trigger the appropriate conditional statement, which will be inserted into the document. So let's go ahead and set that up. And we're going to simply call that title. Conditional is going to be the field type. Let's expand this side panel a bit. If the client's gender equals male, we're simply going to insert a value of Mr. If the client's gender equals female, and, and you also have the option of an or, but for this um, demonstration, we're going to use and, the marital status equals single. We want to insert the value of Ms. One last condition, if the gender is female, and, the marital status is married. We're going to go ahead and insert the value of Mrs. So we'll save this field. I've already highlighted the placeholder text to where uh, the field should be inserted. So we'll just hit the plus button to get it into the document. The field is there, but it's currently empty because I haven't given any values to the trigger questions. So let's go ahead and do that. Female, marital status single. We populate the document. You can see what's going to be inserted here, the um, Ms. We change it to mail, and we populate the document. We get Mr. And finally, if we go to female and we select married and we populate the document, we're going to see Mrs.